Horace Montgomery took his first steps at San Francisco State in 1997 and decided to never leave. Because uh, this is my spot. This is my school. This is, my, this is where I've been able to be me. Able to rise from a student, graduate with a degree in psychology, and become an SFSU employee. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous view. But it's a view that opened his eyes to a growing problem on campus. College students didn't have enough to eat. It's a bad assumption to assume that you know what hunger looks like. Um, and so we're going to try to change that. Change came in the form of the first standalone college food pantry in the state of California. Where three times a week, volunteers and paid staff like Tatiana Ramos get to work, putting the fresh produce on display. We'll sort out all these awesome fruits and vegetables. Hoping to reach as many fellow students as possible. We help at least 300 to 400 a week. That's a week, um, but we're still getting an influx. Students like Curtis Tam, who finds balancing his studies, working to pay rent, while getting enough to eat can be a challenge, especially in an expensive city like San Francisco. Uh, I got some bread, a cabbage, some potatoes, some milk, and a few snacks. So not, not a whole lot, just, just some base, basic stuff. Yeah, yeah, so just some basic stuff. Get, get me through the week. The pantry, a lifesaver for Leone Barth, an international exchange student who was shocked at the price of food in America. It's different in Germany. It's really cheap to buy stuff and uh, food, and here it's really expensive. We were shocked when we uh, went to the supermarket the first time, and it was so expensive. And in this time-lapse video, you could see the need. As students line up in the back, then grab their boxes and decide what to choose for the week, a food pantry purposely set up to look and feel more like a farmer's market. Having the dignity of choice is huge. Um, you know, dignity is a huge thing and a huge part of us as people. The dignity of never feeling ashamed asking for help. Help that's been needed on college campuses for years. Are you splitting them or are we just giving them this? Something Horace Montgomery knows all too well, he arrived on campus in 1997 and doesn't plan on leaving until every student is fed. Um, when I look back now and I see what I'm able to provide for students, that's the first thing I think is I'm a little jealous. Uh, I wish we had it, um, but I'm happy to be able to provide it um, because I do know from that notion of wishing I had it, I now know how important it is to make sure it is had. In San Francisco, Ryan Yamamoto, KPX5.